Why is it that men like long legs? Stick around, let's chat about it today on this episode of Christian Dave Coach. Let's hit it. What's up, everybody? My name is Dr. Phoenix Singh. I want to warmly welcome you to this episode of Christian Day Coach, the channel where we try to use the peer-reviewed research literature to be able to take a look at certain phenomena having to do with attraction, dating, and relationships from a Christian perspective. But of course, uh, if you are not currently a believer, it's a real blessing to be able to have you here with us. And as somebody who is a lifetime atheist, trust me, I totally get it. Uh, but thank you for spending the time on this video. I really appreciate having you here. In any case, if you do like the content, please do subscribe to this channel and also hit that bell so you get notifications every time that we post new original content. Please also feel free to comment below, especially if you have other questions that you would like us to respond to on this channel and make a little video for you. Take a look at what the literature base says. Uh, I try to the extent possible not to insert anything kind of anecdotal into these videos, but rather just straight up stick to what the literature says. Uh, and uh, this, for me, is an interesting video. Uh, you know, I've never really understood, to be honest with you, why it is that some guys are just crazy into legs. Like, that, they just find long legs so incredibly attractive and, you know, that in women. And this is kind of their thing, right? And so I was really curious about that research question, so I did some, some background research. And what the literature suggests is that the quote-unquote ideal female figure uh, so the ideal woman, right, in a lot of men's minds, and just in the aggregate, when you take a look at all things considered, has legs that are 1.4 times the length of the upper body, so basically of the torso. And you end up seeing this in uh, certain individuals who are seen to be, you know, kind of beauty icons, people like Nicole Kidman, uh, Naomi Campbell. It's, it, for both of them in particular, it is like exactly 1.4. Uh, in terms of leg length relative to torso length. So diving deeper into that, there is actually a thing called LTR, which is leg to torso ratio. Uh, and it's a visual cue for developmental health. Uh, and what you end up seeing is that uh, there's certain things that particularly during uh, the years of puberty, which is really when the legs grow more than any other time in life, uh, where certain things stunt leg growth. Right, so three things in particular, right? So disease, malnutrition, and then any genetic mutations, right? They stunt leg growth significantly. It can lead to not having uh, the proportions of that kind of, you know, 1.4 uh, leg to ratio, uh, leg to torso ratio, right? Uh, and the interesting thing is that if you flip it, right, and talk about a higher leg to torso ratio, what you'll end up finding is that the higher the leg to torso, uh, to torso ratio, uh, the better the health of the individual, specifically the lower the risk of heart disease, the lower the risk of diabetes, the lower the risk of cancer, and the lower the risk of blood pressure. All of these have been documented uh, in the statistical literature, which is, uh, to me, just absolutely fascinating. Now, per usual, everything is a proxy. So, you know, a guy ends up looking at... Uh, at the, you know, at a woman's legs and says, wow, I'm really attracted to that woman. Or a woman ends up looking at a guy's jawline, like a chiseled jawline, says, wow, that's really attractive, right? So these are things that stand for something deeper, right? These are evolutionary switches which are, get, which are getting hit, okay? This isn't something that's, you know, social. This, this is a primal, evolved, biological mechanism, all right? Now, of course, we're not sitting around thinking about that. All, all the guys do, and it's looking and saying, she's gorgeous, good legs. Or the woman is looking at the guy and saying, that guy's hot, you know, what a jawline, right? So we're not realizing what these things actually stand for. So a woman with long legs, basically, that's a proxy for the guy to be able to say, ah, she's got, you know, few genetic mutations. Uh, she did not have any malnutrition issues or diseases uh, during her formative years. Uh, mean that she's probably, if she's younger, right, uh, you know, uh, the likelihood is significantly higher that she would be able to conceive. And then, and not only conceive, but be able to have a healthy child, right? So, you know, take the child to term and then have a, a healthy birth. 
Uh, and a woman looking at a guy with the jawline is basically saying, I like men with, uh, with uh, higher testosterone levels, right? That's what's being communicated there, right? And especially as a short-term mating strategy, that makes perfect sense. And we'll go into that in other videos, right? Uh, but this is the reason why some men really prefer long legs. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining me for this brief video. If you're interested, as always, in getting in touch with me, if you're interested in having me come and speak to your congregation or your small group, would love to be able to do that for you. You can get in touch with me via the website below if you're interested in booking me, or at the same time, if you're interested in either one-on-one -on -one or group-based date coaching sessions where we can focus on maximizing uh, your ability not only to be able to attract the love of your life, but then also to be able to build a God-centered, a healthy long-term relationship based on what the literature says uh, will get us to that place, then please do feel free to get in touch and uh, we'll, we'll do a session or two and I would love to be able to do that with you. But for now, everyone, I'm signing off. So thank you so much for joining me. God bless you. And don't forget to get out there, take chances, and be your best self. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed that episode and you'd like to see more original content, then please do click on one of the links right here. I hope to see you in the next one.